And then once Trey is dead, Hondo goes into survival mode. Last man standing. I don't know who at CG thought this is a, this should this should be this should happen. I had to do a little bit of digging on Hondo. He told a lot of interesting stories. He took out Darth Vader. He was on Endor saving Luke from the murder bears. And you know what? It's all true and more. On top of that, we're doing a little bit of a part two of our initial character review where we found a lot of funny stuff with Hondo. We're gonna take it one step further on something that's very temporary, but it's so dumb, stupid, but at the same time, it feels very Hondo-ish. Hondo taking out some galactic legend, funny shenanigans. Now, if you watched my uh, initial gear character review, we showed that there's gonna be a lot of funny potential, especially the current situation of Datacrons and the very obvious, very smart move of putting high amounts of evasion on there. We showed, for example, if you set up Hondo in the right situation, get him a, some sort of leader, and then giving him Watt Timor to give him the right tech, Hondo can 1v5. A lot of teams out there, especially due to their high evasion, high health regeneration, protect regeneration, all the other funds, and eventually he gets high amounts of damage when he's uh, able to dodge. But thanks to the high amount of dodges, every time he's dodging, they're getting a stack of ransom, which gives them a lot of stats. Well, we have another person out there who kind of took the concept and did some more with it, where basically they did a few funny things where one, they went up against a Sith the Turtle with old Ben, and then just had Hondo go to town at that point. So I want to run some of that with you guys. And they also did some funny stuff with uh, Commander Tano and Kenobi, where Trey Lead uh, was able to help mitigate Kenobi's momentum on Hondo. So let's go roll some, it's just funny. It's stupid how these Dodge Datacrons are working. They basically, here's how what's going down. Old Ben, 30% extra, or 50% evasion, and you got Term Eater on top of it. Hondo, they, when they're the last one standing, so you need at least two other allies in order to get this benefit. There were at least two other allies, Hondo's last one standing. He's gonna get 100% Term Eater. He's gonna get 25% Counter Trans Defense Evasion. So 15% evasion from obi One lead, 25% evasion, Hondo's unique ability, and then Datacrons, depending on how much dodge and deflection you have, it could go even higher. So hypothetically, this isn't even anything. I wonder if it gets opponents of 70%. We got a person in the Kyber Club who has 90 plus percent dodge. So the point I'm getting at is, <laughs> one, dodges don't belong in Datacrons. That's probably higher than health steal, <laughs> in my opinion. But secondly, the Kondo's got a good level of low degree, uh, low star viability as we showcase. This might be something you can use on offense, or maybe you could somehow annoy the living daylights out of your opponent here so basically what we're gonna do is we just basically at this point i just need old ben and hond or uh watt tambor to go away and it was very helpful because in king bob's video they went up against malik they had malik on there they had as well darth rivet and they were able to kill off these guys really fast this is not as nearly as sexy of a uh team here so it's gonna take a little bit longer for them to kill off Watt Tambor and then let Hondo go into solo mode here. But in a moment, it should happen. There we go. So we're full solo mode. So the Turtle, he can't go ultimate. He can't go into ultimate because he can't link. And I even tried this out. Even when the Turtle happened to get the ultimate because we were linked up for a little too long, he couldn't even insta-kill Hondo and Hondo wanted to full solo mode. But notice, every time we're evading, which is gonna be crazy high for all the numerous reasons I told you. He's ramping up his stats. He's getting extra max health, extra tenacity, and through his unique ability, he's increasing even more. And this is this is without Omicron. With Omicron, they're going to do even nuttier things. This is why you're going to want Watt Timbor, so you can cleanse yourself up here and keep it going. Just you keep it on full. Look at 84,000 pop up. And remember, King Bob took out an even better version of the Sith Eternal team. So very temporary. This isn't really true viability. You guys know how I am with Datacron. It's not really real viability it's temporary magical candy land type of stuff but it is here for two more months and then it's gonna go away so this is something you i think you can maybe get a little creative and really tick off your opponent by creating some sort of timeout situation or cheese your ways through a variety of offensive situations look at eighty-five thousand damage right there it caps up the 50 for the rancer so it's not gonna go any higher and at this point, it's just Hondo versus Eternal, and the archives were true. Hondo, he was there. He was there in Exegol. It wasn't Rey that said, I'm all the Jedi. It was Hondo that said, I'm all the Jedi. And the, the sequels make a lot more sense, in my opinion. Now, it just, it all makes sense. Hondo, at the end of the day, Hondo is the Alpha. He is the Omega of the Star Wars universe. It's going to take a little while to get there, but over time, Hondo's going to be able to knock out Sith Eternal at the very end. So it's just, it's crazy to see with all these weird dodge things going on, uh, the different interactions 
that we're seeing out there honestly you know what i'll probably do i'm probably gonna because i we don't need to use captivity captivity is nothing on the turtle for the most part so we probably just want to just do damage here yeah there we go yeah there's no sense in doing this because you can't put a galactic legend in captivity or you can't fracture them with hondo basically so we just want to just do our damage output do this here nice ability block there we go now we're making more progress here let's do another basic here okay 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 a little protect recovery let's do another one of these we just want to keep putting out some damage do another one 44,000 damage get the ability block locked on him put him in the yellow do it again and this is what the center with the data crown granted not the one that gives a lot of ultimate charge uh, but nonetheless when they kill off the other guys too fast it's not looking all that good for them at this point it's kind of like a game set match so this is i mean not as crazy as the night sister initiate data crown <laughs> <laughs> where they're able to pretty much uh, solo a lot more galactic legends but this is kind of of the same ballpark where it's extremely cheesy uh do a billy block hope i don't kill him off all right yeah at this point hondo won the match let's say you're going up against jetty master coming out this one uh, this is you're pushing your luck trying this out here but it's worth a try <laughs> this one in this video they're mainly just trying to show that it was pretty much impossible for hondo to be killed so this is definitely uh, a little bit more interesting there you go you got that there we go and let's we just want trey to be killed off for oh my gosh the dodges are so <laughs> the, these dodges these dodges are uh, criminal it's just outright criminal how these dodges operate uh let's just go ahead doesn't really matter get trey for the assist and then once trey is dead hondo goes into survival mode last man standing <laughs> I don't know who at CG thought this is a, this should this should be this should happen and I just want to put on a full auto I don't think we're gonna win this particular match here but the point goes to show that there I can't keep a straight face up I, I is this what they wanted their game to look like that's what I legitimately want to know that's what I really look at it. all those look at all those attacks out of turn all look at look at Hondo he like he drops down a protection he's gonna bounce back up you do have to be cautious of the uh healing mini that could cause a little bit of a problem here and that did cause a lot of problems actually so i probably as i said probably would not say if i had more evasion it'd probably make a lot more of a difference uh, but the point goes to show a lot of dodges you could set yourself up king bob kind of had the right amount of dodge it seemed like to pull that off here all right one more thing i want to showcase here now you don't need hondo to pull this off per se we uh we have shown that dash rendar with is a very uh, absurd if you're not familiar with it very absurd datacron with constantly getting bonus turns it's pretty nutty uh dash rendar could take out master kenobi but we're gonna throw in hondo into the equation just so you know the captivity has been really nice it's a nice addition to hondo as our to dash rendar as we've been discussing around here it's a little bit of a problem to go after vander chewy right away let's go ahead start popping these going nice 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 and fortune we're not going to get any turn but i want to get that protection regeneration back up and running we're going to go ahead and put kenobi in captivity all right we're going to get the revive and let's see we're just going to do basic for right now just clear that off okay let's hope we don't lose our vander chewy that's kind of a key element to all this let's do a buff the spell nice done all right we got to get our we got to get vander chewy back in the protection full protection to get prepared back now it's gonna be a lot easier if you have the omicron and in grand which we are neither in grand arena and we do have the omicron but we're not in the grand arena so normally you don't have to worry about that normally you're gonna have plenty of opportunities to get the prepared over on vander chewy uh let's go ahead and just do another buff the spell all right let's go do a shock all right get a nice little shock action uh let's go and get dash for the assist here there we go a nice couple of assists popping off there not as many crits there we go let's see there. that should put us back in prepared mode there we go we got prepared back on vander chewy let's just keep working on over here. there we go we got the savior triggered right there now he should be able to come back here to another buff the spell oh no stun unfortunately he's coming back prepared to staying on vander chewy again way easier inside a grand arena we've shown dash rendar taking on for example uh oh we probably should do basic here yeah oh my god oh, oh no <sighs> oh i forgot we had captivity on him oh you know we're gonna keep going let that be just let that be known right there you got to keep track of the captivity and you got to make sure hondo has at least 10 stacks of ransom on him because if he doesn't he's gonna die off but we're gonna finish this battle just to show you don't really need hondo to pull this off this is very much so a uh very much so just a dash rendar data con type of thing here there we go but it would have been nice to have hondo there could have had a nice basic in there some exposed opportunists to another basic and there we go so you don't need hondo but in case you haven't seen the videos where dash rendar has been popping off lately 
with the datacron eh, this hopefully will put it in a little bit more perspective so you can kind of truly see how nutty things are going right now let's get some of that going to get a buff this bell let's see if we can try to ah they got the damage over there that's really annoying yeah it's all come it just really comes on the dash datacron as well as vander chewy constant revives which is a lot easier once you got it active inside of uh e get the prepared back Ooh, ooh. i don't like that he isn't prepared on him right now Ooh, we gotta be careful okay let's get the protection back on him all right all right come on get prepared get prepared Oof, there you go way easier in grand arena because you're always getting the prepared back it's always renewing whereas in uh, here you gotta work to get it back there we go another aoe there we go nicely done basics and okay let's get a nice stun bump the spell okay can we get a shock ah, i got resisted don't want to use this inside of squad arena because well you're gonna lose your prepared then we have no way of getting it back uh unfortunately got dodge let's see all right that's fine as long as we got prepared we can keep doing this all day ganekin there we go uh, see right there hondo's extra hit would have been nice to have pop them there you go so you don't need honda to pull this up if you do have dash you're fortunate enough to get the datacron which yeah, we all know the story about how datacrons go and who gets them and who don't get them but nonetheless nice to know you can do something like this hondo it just makes it a little bit easier because you can call dash for the assist but there you go something uh little practical unlike the kenobi you know hondo solo which is a little bit dicey this is definitely the safer route to go just put hondo with dash you pretty much got yourself an off meta kenobi counter with the datacrons currently because kenobi's left a little bit defenseless this season no dedicated datacon for them i don't know i'm not sure this is a very helpful video because it's very tied to datacrons but you know it's just funny to show hondo doing some really dumb stuff but you know what the stories are true he was there he was there from the beginning to the end he probably is the one that orchestrated the clone wars now that i think about it so did we learn anything from this video probably not but i'm just gonna say it was hondo so that made this video completely worth it thank you so much for stopping by i just can't get over it. who thought this dodge thing was a smart idea anyways like comment down below so subscribe so you're not missing a thing and always remember it's great to be in the empire today